Welcome to Tiger King's YouTube channel. Many people want to learn how to weld pipe open root. However, there are some difficulties in learning pipe welding. First, it takes a long time to learn. Second, pipe is way more expensive than plate. Third, preparation such as cutting and beveling is bothering. For those who cannot practice pipe open root due to these difficulties, I'd like to introduce an easy, quick, and inexpensive way. I will show you how to practice pipe open root with the plates. I recommend that you first practice with a plate coupon to build up your skills and then practice with a pipe coupon. It will save you time and money. In addition, it will prevent you from giving up sooner or later. Okay, let's take a look at how I make it. You will need two plates or flat bars. Stainless steel or mild steel doesn't matter. A couple of vice grips. If you have an angle, it is easy to make a practice coupon. I will use a copper plate to stop the backside of the weld from sugaring when I take it up. You don't need any backing if you use mild steel plates. Place the angle on the vise and put the copper on top. Then do vise grip two stainless steel plates giving a gap between 332 and 18. After confirming that the open root gap is okay, I give a tack to hold two plates. If you have an aluminum block, you can use it for backing instead of a copper plate. The practice coupon is ready. It is simple and easy. 332 wire goes into the gap, but not 18. So the gap is between 332 and 18. This is my favorite gap. But don't be too picky. A little bit narrow or a little bit wider doesn't matter. It is a stainless steel plate coupon, so I have to think about back purging, or the root pass will be all sugaring. I will show you how to make a back purging jig for this job. Let me remind you that you don't need a purging if you practice with a mild steel. First, I need a thin plate and quarter inch tubing. I made a quarter inch hole on the plate and the tubing will go into the hole. I weld the tubing and the plate together. Next, put the purging jig on the practice coupon and give tags on four corners. After welding, I have to break this purging jig so a small tag is good enough. Except for the open root, I seal all openings with an aluminum tape. You connect quarter inch purging holes into the inlet tubing. If you turn on argon purging gas, the inside is a filled argon and it protects the root weld from being sugared. You can practice all weld positions with this practice coupon. Flat weld position. It is called 1G. G means groove. Horizontal welding position, it is called 2G. Vertical weld position, it is called 3G. Overhead weld position, it is called 4G. Not only TIG welding, you can practice any weld process like a stick or MIG with a display coupon. It's ready to weld. Purge line is hooked up with 35 gas pressure. Weld current I set 100 amp. My rule about choosing the filler is as follows. I pick 332 filler if the gap is bigger than 332. I pick 116 filler if the gap is smaller than 332. In this case, I choose 332 because the gap is bigger than 332. One side is wider than the other side. 
If the gap is not even, I always start from the narrow gap because the gap shrinks while welding. Okay, let me strike an arc. Unfortunately, today's arc shot is not very clear, so I add a previous root pass video on the corner. I think the purging is not very good. How do I know? If the purge is good, I can make a long weld puddle as you see in the picture, but I couldn't make a long and stable puddle. That means something is wrong. Anyway, let me finish and take a look at it. Okay, it is done. Looking at the outside, I can see the first half is not good and the other half looks okay. Let me see the inside. Yes, as I expected, the first half is very bad. There could be many reasons for bad purging. Pressure is low or the purging dam is too far from the joint. Another big reason is purge gas comes out straight and causes turbulence inside. I will show you two pictures, one without anything and the other with a copper muffler. The purging impact with a copper muffler is way, way better. So I decided to add a mesh plate on the, on the hole. I expect the gas comes out like a spray mode and it will help. Let me try the second one with a new purging jig. The gap is smaller than 332, so I picked a 116 filler wire this time. Okay, it is done, and let's take a look at it. As I expected, it came out better than the first one. I haven't seen lots of people giving up practicing the pipe open route because it requires lots of preparation. That's why I introduce an alternative way. Please build up your skills with a plate coupon. It is easy, quick, and money saving. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and like if you like my TIG videos. See you next time.